Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily combine text and photos to create some amazing designs. So as we can see, this is the effect that we're after and it's really simple to create. So we can see that I have added a Christmas hat, lovely for winter, and you can really keep adding to this effect. So it can go from a range of different styles. So you don't just have to apply this to what I'm going to do. You can really add to this. So all we're going to do from here is we want our main image and we can go for any image that we want. It will work for anything. So I'm just going to go and jump to our main one. So I have a panoramic view of the iScapes, which is quite nice. And all we're going to do from here is we're going to go and add some text. So go to the text tool on the left hand side. And we're just going to go and click on our image. And all we're going to do is play around with the font and the size. Now the font, we need a quite chunky font because we need to bring the image through it. And we need to see what the image is about. So I've gone for impact, but you can go and download any font that you want and experiment with other fonts. And it doesn't really matter about the size because we are going to free transform that in a minute to make it fit. So I'm just going to go and type anything. So I'm just going to go and type freezing. And you can type whatever you want, anything to correspond with the image. And I'm just going to go and bring that layer up so we can see it. So somewhere around about there. And as we can see, it's covering the vast majority of the um, image, which we want, which is quite nice. But it's a bit too big for my liking. So I'm just going to go bring that down. And this is where you can play around with the size. So Control and T or Command T if you have a Mac to free transform. And we're just going to go and hold down shift on our keyboard. And we're just going to go and drag inwards to make it the right size that we want. So around about there. And you can have this horizontal or any way that you want. And we're just going to go and click the tick icon at the top when you're happy. From here, all we're going to do is we're going to go and bring the bottom layer, which is the main layer picture up to the top it may be locked so you might have to double click that layer bring that up to the top we're going to hold down alt on our keyboard or option if you have a mac and we're just going to go between the two layers and we're going to see this little symbol and click and as we can see the background's disappeared but it's coming through the text which we want and all we're going to do from here is we're going to go and add a few um, styles on to the text so we're going to double click that text now and what we're going to play around with is the bevel and boss and a drop shadow. So add the bevel and the boss and a drop shadow. Go and drop shadow. And we can go and bring the shadow outwards to make it look nice. And then click OK. So that's basically it. That's all you need to do. And that's fairly simple. But there is loads of other designs that you can come up with for this. So if you have a particular image, like a sports image, and you want something to come through and we want to add a more dramatic effect, we can go and do that. So I'm going to go and show you a different way now. So I'm going to jump over to this one here. And we've already applied the text and the image is coming through. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go and duplicate that top layer. So Control and J or Command and J if you have a Mac. And we're going to go and bring that layer all the way down the bottom. So just beneath the text layer. And from here we can go up to filter, blur. And we're going to go to radial blur. We want the amount to be around about 80% for this. We want it to be zoom and the quality to be good. Now you can bring the blur center to anywhere that you want. So focus on a particular spot. For this picture here, we're going to focus on the boy with the ball. So we're just going to go and bring that roughly to where he is and then click OK. So as we can see, it's made a more dramatic effect and it's great for sports images or any image that you want to apply this to. So as I said, you don't have to stop there. You can add a range of different effects to this. So I'm going to go and show you back to this one right here with the hat and you can add and add to this. So basically that was the quickest tutorial um, ever for this. And uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. Go check out the other videos, website and Google Plus and Facebook. 
If you want to um, help me out, go and buy some of our t-shirts, which the link will be after this video. So go check out those great designs. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.